In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the panorama template variables in order to reuse templates for the configuration of multiple firewalls. Template variables are either defined at the level of the template or the template stack. You can use these variables to replace an IP address, including IP net mask, IP ranges, and FQDN in all areas of the firewall configuration. Interfaces in an ICA gateway configuration or in an HA configuration. And also configuration elements in your SD-WAN configuration, AS number, etc. Let me show you in the computer how you can create a variable to assign two different IP addresses to loopback addresses from firewall being managed from Panorama. So this is my Panorama. And if you go to Panorama, Summary, you can see that I'm managing two firewalls with this Panorama. And if you go to Templates, you can see that those files, PA and PAVM, PA is a physical file and PAVM is a, is a virtual machine. They are getting pushed to templates, the admin for both of them, where currently I only have the administrator password and the file configuration, which is the PAVM, in this case, the PA. I'm going to use the admin template instead of creating a new one, just to push a loopback address but I want to push different IP addresses for the files. So for that first, the first thing we need to do is to create the variable. You can come here to manage, click on add. The name has to be a name that starts with a dollar sign, loop back 10. And as a value, I'm gonna leave none. I'm gonna show you later why. And then click on close. So now I have a, a, an empty variable inside my admin template. Even if the variable has no value now, I can use it to build my configuration. So if I go to network now, interfaces, loop back, click on add, I can use this variable already in the template. 10. I'm gonna get a warning whenever I commit because I don't have any virtual router security zone, but I'm just gonna leave like this. It won't give me an error. If I go to IPv4, and click on add. Now it's offering me the dollar loopback 10. Then I click okay. Then I have now in my admin template, the loopback 10 as a variable. If I commit the configuration now, I'm gonna get an error. Like I said, because the variable has no value yet. To give a value to this variable, you need to go back to Panorama. And under the templates, we're going to use the template stacks to give different values to the files. So my PAVM, I'm going to go to manage, is going to get the IP address 10, 10, 10, 10 as a loopback address. For that, I need to click on or select this checkbox and click on override. And then here I can enter the real IP address or the IP address that the file is going to get 10, 10, 10, 10 slash 32, click on OK. I'm going to do the same now for the other one. The other one is going to get 10, 10, 10, 20. So checkbox override 10, 10, 10, 20 slash 32. Click on OK. Click on close. Here under view, you can take a look which, which values the variables, all the variables you have and which values they are going to be committed to the file. So this is 10, 10, 10, 10. The other one is going to be 10, 10, 10, 20. There you go. Now we can commit our configuration. If I click on commit and commit to Panorama, I can see that the template admin is being committed and both template stacks. If you click on preview changes, you're going to see what Panorama is changing. So it's creating somewhere the loopback address. It's giving the IP address dollar loopback 10 is creating the variable and it's assigning the IP addresses to the variable. So I'm going to commit. Okay, my commit is through. Now I'm going to click on close and push the configuration to the files, push to devices. And here you can see that it's committing to the PA stack, PAVM stack. And I just need to push. So I'm at my file now. The configuration has just been committed. 
You can see here in the back that the file doesn't have the loopback address 10. Click on close. And now we're going to refresh this page. And then the loopback address 10 is there with the corresponding IP address. Back to Panorama, the advantage of using variables, especially when you have more complicated configuration, is that whenever you get a new file that's supposed to receive this template, you just have to add it to the stack and go to manage and add values to the variables and then you don't need to make the whole configuration again. This is the big advantage of using variables in Panorama. So guys, if you could learn something today, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It means the world for us. It can help us a lot with the YouTube algorithm and also for you to get more videos offered similar to these, this one. And don't forget to hit the like button if the video was interesting and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.